Well, we finished them that field yesterday. I want to go get those tractors and uh, move them over here to this new field that we just bought. Okay. And uh, get that ground worked. All right. You driving? Uh, yeah, I can drive. Let me grab my coffee from the kitchen real quick. Oh, that's the bedroom. I guess I left it in the bedroom. Sometimes I do weird things. I'm heading over to the pickup. Okay. I'm right behind you. Yeah. At some point, we need to unhook that planter off my truck. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that won't be too hard. We can do that. Any do you need your truck yet? Probably not. We're going to no, go get two tractors. not right now. Ooh, it does sound good when it starts up. But I notice I need to get an adjustable hitch on my uh, yep. trailer there. You notice that? Yep, it's not pulling level. No, I don't think I can yep. do anything to fix that either. It's just going to have to be until I get an adjustable one, but that's fine. We're going to get down to where we left the tractors and bring those over to the other field we bought in the last episode. We have $103,000. Go ahead. Shall we go ahead and tell uh, our young farmers why we don't want that trailer riding on that truck like that? <laughs> go ahead. Because it'll wear out the bearings and the tires will wear funny. Ugh. Hey, <laughs> you all right? Uh, yeah. I was, I was looking at the trailer. And it also makes the weight distribution a little sketch. A little funny. It puts <laughs> it all to the back. It's yeah. liquid. It all goes to the back. Makes you pop wheelies in the back end anyway. Throws you all over the highway. Uh, yeah, it's done that a couple times. Well, so far, so good on the, on the farming deal here. We're uh, ahead of the game, I think, but the equipment we've got bought. I'd say so. We're doing pretty good so far. We've got everything but a combine and I'm sure we could try to sort out a combine. We could keep our eye open, but maybe Well, before we look... Go ahead. Before we look for a combine, I would like to price some seed and... Uh, okay, yeah. Liquid nitrogen. Right, yeah. That's that's true, because we are... Our fields were not, uh, not sitting pretty. No, they weren't. We do have to test that other field, too. You know, we'll just run liquid nitrogen on it as well, anyway. Yeah, you don't want to test it to see what it's running? Maybe next year? Yeah, next year's fine. That's fine by me. Let's, uh... Sometimes you just gotta wing it. Let's pull into the uh, fields down here and get our tractors. I guess I have chose this way. You know what? Let me go ahead and just cut across right here and then cut in. Yeah, otherwise you'll have to walk across the railroad track. Don't fancy that. No. But all this field over here did till up really nice. It's ready to uh, be planted or whenever that time comes around. Still yep. needs that fertilization, of course. But we got that whole other field to work on. Which tractor do you want? I'm gonna take my... 8110. Okay, I'm going to hop in the old 7030, wasn't it? No, 7430 yeah. and get rolling. Who's going to go first? Me? You? <laughs> I'll go. Go ahead. All right. I'll meet you down there. Actually, your tractor right. might be faster than my tractor. I don't know. Which way are you going out? I'm Where trying we came to decide in? that. We can either go back on the highway south, or we can just go up here to the left and take this highway to the next gravel and follow that south. Which one? Let's do that, because we need to get to know this country here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to hang a left then, and we'll figure out what's down this way. I do like these tractors quite a lot, and if you guys want to see his tractor, then you can check out his POV, the Papa Pickle, on YouTube. Link in the description down below. The Time we're recording this, he posted his first ever farm sim video, and it's doing really well. So hopefully you guys continue to enjoy him. Uh, I like bringing them to you. Are you enjoying farm sim so far? Yeah. Yeah, I figured you would. Especially today because it's cold outside. Yeah. If you had to, maybe you don't have enough time in it to really get an idea, but if you had to pick between ATS or farm sim, which do you give the edge to? Which one do you like a little better? Oh, right now I'm, I'm liking this farm sim. Yeah. I do like the trucking. I mean, it's kind of a toss up for me. Right. Right now. I like them both. I think they're both really fun for their different reasons, to be honest. Okay, so I believe this is the, another small, tiny little town up here we're coming near. And we can hang a left at the gravel. This will take us back south, and that'll run us near that field that you wanted, I think. I just had a deer run into the side of my machine. Oh, you'll have that on them bigger jobs. Well, he won't do that twice. Oh, here's my turn right here. I think it's... Is it this one or is it the next one? Let me double check. It's the next one. Sorry. That's some guy's okay. private drive or something. Did you see a sign for this town? I have no idea what this town is No, here. all I've seen is a 45 mile an hour speed limit sign. We ain't gonna do that. No worries here. All right. Now this is the turn at the gas station in the bakery. There we go. Back to some gravel. And a one lane bridge up here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, a church. Oh, a cemetery. Oh, a little grass field. I wonder how much that costs. Well, you know, we're gonna have to start looking into some hay ground. Yeah. I'm gonna mow hay next to the old cemetery. That's a pretty little cemetery church there, too everything. They keep, kind of keep it up, don't they? By the way, this bridge is plenty wide. Don't worry about it. It's actually a neat oh, bridge. Yeah. Uh, we just won't come this way with the combine. No. <laughs> I'm seeing all kinds of pads of ground where there used to be farms. I guess everybody had yeah. to up and quit, huh? I guess. No wonder all the land's for sale in this area. Yep, that's all right. Good time for us to grow. Trouble is, is our bank account is looking a little uh, weak up there. 
Well, if we need to, we can always go talk to the banker about a loan. The good thing is, is we have done everything we've done so far off of our own cash. We've avoided yep. any debt, which is actually pretty miraculous. We've got, you know, 80 acres and two tractors, two tills, a planter, two trucks. We don't have a combine yet We don't, and some other stuff, but still, for no debt, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, we're up here. The rippy dumps, we got that little turn again. Last time we came in just off of our nose, we're coming in the opposite direction this time. I remember this now. And then this, this other piece of field, I think you were looking at at one point, this one to the left, but then we drove up the road and you ended up liking this one up here a little better, I think. I do kind of like this area back here, though. Yeah, it's pretty back here. All right, here's the, whoa. Do we need to hit this or not? Hold on, what's going on here? Somebody already farm it for us? Uh, it's just looking better than I anticipated it to look. We still need to make it a seed bed, so we do need to go over it. There's no stocks or anything. This is this. They went through this end of last year. Must have. Must have. But I'm going to put my tool down and see how it turns up here. It's going to be kind of hard to tell where we've been. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we can tell, but it's 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 not, uh, you gotta keep your eye open. You see the difference? Yeah, barely. Barely. It's, it's hard. It ain't easy to see the difference. Hmm. Who knew that this field was gonna be a lot harder for us to do? You know what? what Looking at this, I don't think we even need to do this. Let's just take a round, a couple of rounds around the outside. Around the outside. Uh, around the outside. I mean, it's pretty good as it is, but I am noticing it's really good after we go over it. Do you see that? It's kind of, it gets, some areas are a little closer lumpy before. Yeah. And then this this all that I've gone through is you don't even have your tool down. I thought I had it down. I know I had it down. I was watching it. It went down. Folded out. Oh, now it's down. There you go. You know what I did? La I did that twice now. Uh oh. <clears throat> I clicked that button twice. Uh oh. <laughs> That's why. What are you thinking? You want to just roll through it a pass or two here and see how it goes? Yeah. Or, all right. Might as well. Otherwise, I don't know what we would, uh, we could move forward to getting that seed and, oh, we, we still need to get that, uh, anhydrous or nitrogen, whatever, going down on the ground here. Oh, you know what? I guess we could do that beforehand, but we talked about uh, just running it on the planter, remember? Which one would you rather the nitrogen. do? nitrogen. Yeah. We're going to use ni uh, liquid nitrogen and run it through the planter. Yeah, okay. So is there any other prep work you want to do to this field, this land? Let me see if it needs anything. Um, well, I guess I don't know because we don't have soil data on it, really. I can't tell too much. It needs plowed. I can tell you that. They suggest needs that. needs plowed. Yeah, they, well, just they suggest the, It's. I guess it's a little compacted. I don't know. They suggest it. That's all I know. But it's fine for now. And then I'm trying to think. This was the, yeah, this was the border here, and then this just rounded back towards them silos and everything. You know, I'm wondering how this got tilled up. Well, I can answer that for you. I think you can. Because we had to <laughs> set up a new save game because the other one busted. <laughs> and yep. on this save game, the land happened to be tilled. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it just is what it is. I mean, I could, don't get me wrong, if you want me to change it to that kind of whitish texture, I could t change it and we could go through this, but... No, we're not going to do that. I kind of feel like, like we might as well just take the W and consider this good. Yep, I think so. Because though we are making a difference, we're making it go from a cultivated to a seed bed texture. I don't see a huge difference in the quality. I mean, it, it's up to you. Well, the only re the only thing that would be better with the seed bed quality is if we were doing beans. Beans. When you harvest corn, you're up to the ears anyway. Right. You're not running your tool on the ground like you are when you're right. harvesting beans. Well, it seems to me like uh, we just let this field sit. And uh, what, so, what do we do in 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 place of that then? What what do you think? I think we go back to the house and get the uh, planter hooked up and look into finding seed and liquid fertilizer. I don't even know what date it is. What date is it? Um, next month or next tomorrow? It'll be April first. Tomorrow will be April first. Yep. Ah, uh, we're we're pretty early to be planting corn, even corn, but we can prep a little bit here. We could also see if there's anything else that, um, I know our budget can't work with it, but we could see if there's anything uh, at the used equipment for sale or something like that. If you have anything else you needed to get, like, uh, I don't know, we're talking about fertilizing and spraying and weed control. We might need some kind of sprayer of some sort. Maybe we should go look for a sprayer. Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Do you want to just pack up right here next to this drive? We can probably hop that grass. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think this field is good to go. Good with me. Now, depending on when we get to this field, if you understand what I'm saying, yeah. that's going to dictate when we're going to need that sprayer. Right. That's true. 
I mean, if you can get in this field right away, you know, you'd probably be all right with the sprayer for 30 days or so. But uh, if you can't get in it right away, well, you're going to have weeds coming up. Now you're going to have to do a pre-spray. Well, we'll and see. that happens. That happens because of the weather. You know that. We'll see what we end up dealing with here. I don't know where you want to cross back over. I don't know. Can't go right by that house? That's what I was thinking. Pretty steep, huh? Well, <coughs> a little less steep towards the left, ain't it? Or is it not? Hey, what's that? Is that the road right there? Uh, yeah. I think we better go over here. Fold these babies up. This gets pretty flat over here. Okay. There's a little bump, but nothing crazy. That's pretty manageable. All right. Well, lucky for us, that field is actually looking pretty good as well. So let's go get the planter ready, and we got to source some seed. Hope this guy don't get mad at us. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know if anyone lives there. Maybe they do. Kind of looks boarded up, don't it? It might just be. Um, a pallet of seed is $950, if that gives you any idea. Uh, we need enough for 80 acres, so. Yeah, okay, I don't know how many pallets that is i'll be honest with you well no i can't remember how many uh plants per acre we did we don't do corn that often at home you know we do more beans yeah, yeah. how about mm, man i don't know i know there's a thousand liters of seed in uh -huh. in the <laughs> deal <laughs> now how many now acres that covers i don't know well, see here, around here, they call that there's so many units in a bag. Yeah. And units means there's so many plants, possibles in a bag. Yeah. So off the top of my head, I'm just throwing a number out there, 100,000 plants in a bag. And right. I'm just saying 100,000 because I'm pretty sure with beans, it's 130,000. You know, I wonder if that will, eh, it might. Hey, I wonder if we could squeeze these tools into that. Oh, is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, it looks like they, they will fit. Into that lean-to? Yep. That's what I just tested. They'll fit. It's just uh, this thing is kind of touchy to back up. Very touchy to back up. You might have to watch the light. I think it's high enough. Uh, yeah, it should be. It should be. I'm on the other side of the light, so I know I'm going to be fine. Well, if it ain't high enough, we'll have to get somebody to move it. Right, totally. You know, one of them electrician type guys. Mm, as long as they're certified. <laughs> as long as they're certified. All right. I got mine back in there. Pulling out. Come on out. I'm fixing to pull up there and back in. Okay. Have at her, buddy. Do you want to put that planter on a tractor? Which tractor? Let's put it on that one because uh, for some reason I was thinking we had to have a hydraulics, but we don't. Oh, we're good. Right? We can run it. Yep, we can run it. Well, I tell you what, I really didn't do this very well. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> I know. Oh, I feel kind of silly. I know. I, I drove up there, too, and I was like, well, wow, wow, that's a bit of a... They really cut that out right there when they built whatever this pad was, didn't they? Mm-hmm. They sure did. Have fun, but it can get back in there. I know it can. Uh -oh. I don't remember this barn being out there that far. Um, I think I got it in the right-ish spot. You know, we had to redo everything slightly. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that is, you know, within 1% to 2% of where it sat. I could be wrong. This thing's not easy to back up. No, oh, it's touchy, isn't it? Yeah. It's very touchy. It's even worse when you can't really tell where you're going. I'm about to switch the planter over to the tractor here. I pulled your truck around to the side. I got hydraulics hooked up. Let me check the bins, make sure they're empty here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Looking good. I'm going to shut the tractor off so it ain't running inside. I'm trying to get my tool backed up alongside yours. Yeah, I'm watching. You got room. You're good. And uh, the tool's not taller than the light, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, I see that. You're angling towards my tool there. Yeah, I know. I was getting worried about hitting the post. Oh, you're good. That's just going to have to work right there. All right, I'm going to pull this thing out and around. All right, better turn your wheel sharp. There you go. You're good. You're past. This is a nice barn. It is. Okay, my truck is back in the field by the shop, so if we were running to town, down to the shop um, we can we can go there or we can go uh to tractor supply in town or some other place we can see what what's around it's up to you i'm gonna park this back over there where we put the tools okay but this barn's not in the same place that it was no what do you mean no we what used to be able to i could just about drive around it and now I, i'm in the grass you could drive around it and this end here was not this far down i'm no maybe that part but i don't know what you mean about it's 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 about as close to the tree as it would would have been last time okay maybe that side that maybe i'm remembering wrong about that side yeah but it might be further this way i don't know i, I might have been a little off it's close we're gonna take your truck or my, my truck and go yeah, yep wherever you want to go get seed it's up to you i don't know how many i don't know how much our planter takes i guess but we'll see well do we need we'll a, just get enough maybe that's something we should look into we should see if there's we'll just, a trailer for sale a baler a trailer flatbed oh, or some kind of, how's the view up there well it was quite a little breezy amazing yeah, yeah a little breezy 
breezy up there. All right, Hot Rod. Where are we headed now? Wherever you want to go get seed. Where do you want to get seed? Well, we got to find a seed dealer. Probably best bet in town? Yeah. Okay, let's go to town. Yeah, I'm kind of spoiled right now because I just tell my seed dealer well, how many acres I've got to plant. He just brings me the seed. Oh, he does the math for you, huh? He does the math for me. Well, we're going to have to find usually, out this year how much it takes. That way we know for the future. And usually, you'd be surprised, but you could be down to the last bag and have just exactly yeah. that much to do. <laughs> yeah, so that guy, be that means accurate. that guy knows he's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Sure wish we had a seed guy in here. <laughs> yeah, you should have a seed guy. Everybody should have a seed guy. Everyone needs a seed guy. Well, you know, the fun thing is, is and as I, you know this a little bit, but I've played with like my buddies and we all get on. And one of the things that we used to do is like I ran a co-op and my other buddy ran an equipment dealer and so we would all yep. be farmers. We'd have our farms, but then we would also have side businesses that would kind of support. And it was it made it a lot of fun that way. People yep. would come out to the co-op and sell stuff, and yeah, it was a good time. Run on in here to uh, what is this town? Tahiton. 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 Not Winterset. Tahiton. Not Winterset. It's based off of Winterset, more or less, though. So. Okay, I'm not using my blinker. If, hey, if it was me, I would have just drove through this light. So, <laughs> you already better than well, I am. I'm, I'm going. No, never mind. You exactly like your son. <laughs> I wonder how much those radio towers pay to be on your land. You know what? I don't know. I'm surprised nobody's offered to put a radio antenna on top of them silos. That's true. Though. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do for Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> All right. Here in town, we got to figure out where we're buying our seed. What's this place to the left? What do they do? Well, <clean> what does that say? That's a, that's a co-op. H&H yeah. &H co-op. Yeah, they probably got seed. You think they got seed? Oh, I guarantee they do. Right, let's go Let's go ask them if they got seed. Unless that you want to try some office. other place. Is anybody even here? Billing. Is that a co-op or are these guys just run grain? I think this is just a grain place. I think this is just a transfer place because there's okay. nobody yeah. around here. I think you're right. Okay. Well, let's go figure out what else there might be. I see the equipment dealer had a rough go of it. Go out of business? <laughs> Must have. They're not there anymore. One of those we had to set up a new save situations. Oh, well. Dang Tractor it. supply. That might, that might have to do. <laughs> it might have to do. It might have to do. Casey's cheeseburgers. <laughs> I could go for a Casey's cheeseburger. I could go for anything. Well, let's talk to Tractor Supply, I guess. What do you say? All right. Let's go talk to you okay. boys. Excuse me. We're here to buy seed and perhaps some other little trinkets. How are we going to get all this stuff home. That's why I was saying I think we need a trailer. <laughs> I think we do. I think we need a trailer because <laughs> you're wanting to put two pallets of seed. You can fit like a pallet of seed back here. Well, <clears throat> tailgate down, we could get two of them probably. But I don't know about the fertilizer. Uh, I think so. we better come back for the fertilizer Okay. when we got a trailer. Yeah. We'll probably need a trailer to set it on anyway and take it out to the field. I mean, it would make things a lot easier. It would. It would. Let's see what our options may be. Uh, let me see what I can find. Oh, wow. They have it at Tractor Supply. How convenient. Hmm. I'll be darned. Now we can go back and get some liquid fertilizer. Yeah, with our 89,851 remaining mm -hmm. dollars? Yes, we can. We're going to get at least one tote. You want a uh, tote? Do you want Corteva or Helm? Corteva. Corteva liquid fertilizer? Yep. Okay, $3,200 for that tote. All right, we are down to $86,500 after our visit to tractor supply. <laughs> oh, well. And over here, if you want to walk or grab the truck and bring it this way, we've got our trailer and our other stuff that needs loaded up. I got to talk to Tra these boys about getting a forklift real quick, okay? Yep, tractor supply had a good day today. They did. They, they made a lot of money. Good day. I have good news, bad news. Good news is I found a forklift. The bad news is they told me I could operate it, so. That's oh, a well, hey, you can handle it. You just get me hooked up to that trailer and get it on the trailer. Okay. You better let me hook up to it first. Well, yeah. Which one uh, do you want? Uh, never mind. I'll just I'll just pick this up. How am I doing? You're doing all right. Just keep it coming back here. All right. Straighten it out. But there you go. You're looking pretty good. Keep it coming right back. You're almost to it. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Oh, uh, and bring it a little more. How's that? All right. Do you have the icon? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and click it. All right. You're put, all hooked up. I got to put my tailgate up. Yeah. Go ahead and push that button for me. There you go. There we go. Now I'll get this stuff loaded onto the trailer. Do you want this on the front or the back or middle? What do you want? Uh, put the liquid on the front and make sure you bump it up against the front in case we got to hit the brakes. Okay. Or as close as you can. You know what I mean? Yep. I will. Right about there's a 
far as I can get it on there. I can push it further center once I get it, if you want. Center more? Yeah, put it in the center. A little more, a little more, a little more. Oh, right there. Oops. Yeah, you oh, pulled it back. Sorry, sorry. One moment. There you go. So, with the acquisition of your seed and... Hey, you have a trailer to hold bales and stuff or whatever now, too. If you well, need. that was part of the part of the method to the madness. Yeah. You feeling a little nervous with $86,000 in your pocket? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see how it goes. I really don't know. I don't know how much seed it's going to take, fertilizer. And hey, bring that all the way around to this other side and yeah. put it on even with that other stack. You betcha. Did you want that move forward any, or is that good there? Nah, that's fine back there. And then we'll get it's the straps stayed. out and hit them with the straps so they don't move, and it'll be good to yep. go. Right there, looking good. I'm Let's happy. Strap her down. One and two. I'll be extra good about it. I'll put two on it. Oh, actually, that one gets one. Sorry. Ran out of straps. But, well, that's all right. It'll make it. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right. We are loaded up and ready to get this stuff back to the farm. Get it into the, well, we don't need it in the planter yet, I guess. <laughs> a little early for no, that. No, we're, we're just trying to get ahead of the game here and have it ready to go when the weather says go and the date says go. If that's the case and we are ready to be planting, how about we get this up to the farm and next thing we do, we get into the field to plant in April. I think that's what we'll do. All right. I'll tell you what, this weather's been so good, we just will go ahead and plant. Well, let me check I mean, our crop calendar here while you drive home, and I'll see how things look. By the way, um, so I have a mod that changes the uh, units because I knew you weren't going to like the leaders, okay? Yeah. So you'll notice when we're driving, I can see that we have 3,588 pounds of seeds, and we have... 3,000. Yeah, 3,588 uh -huh. okay. pounds of seeds, right. and we have 648 gallons of uh, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer sitting in there. I doubt that's going to be enough. We're going to have to get another the tote. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll try to put down 60 pounds to the acre. We'll see. Well, maybe we... I mean, we can... You can customize no, it, and you I can do go. whatever you want to do, or you can set it to automatic, and it kind of reads the soil and does it. So, up Yeah. To you. Well, I, I'm sitting here thinking back. That's usually on brome and grass. I go uh, 60 to 80 pounds per acre. So, nitrogen and corn, we mm. might need to double that. We could even triple it. I'm seeing here that corn starts planting... We can start planting corn in April through May. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, we're not quite there yet. We won't be able to plant yet. Um, but things we could plant now would be oats, barley, and wheat. But I know we want to do corn. That's what we are setting up for and planning for. Yep. Could also do rye. Rye is plantable at this moment as well. I wonder what the bank has to say about anything. I'm so curious. The loan interest rate. You want to know what it is? What the current interest what rate? 3.5%. That's pretty cheap. Not bad. Are we taking, we're taking this to the house, yeah, right? Yeah, I think we all might as well just take this to the house. Well, We can leave it on the trailer until... Uh, until it's time oh, to yeah. plant is what I figure we yep. do. But see, you parked the planter right in the way of me pulling it into the shed. I'll move it forward. Okay. Oh, you got the tractor hooked to it, don't you? Yeah, I got the tractor hooked to it. Oh, all right. Well, we're good then. That's not our road, is it? No. no. We got a little while yet. Do you know how fast you're going? Uh, 34. Okay. Why? I was wondering if you were watching the, the one in the vehicle or the one on the screen, because the one in the vehicle shows kilometers probably. Yeah, I've been watching the one in the vehicle because it's the real one. This is our road. Road. Yes, right up there is our road. Well, I tell you what, when you let off the gas in this thing, it slows down fast. Yes, it does, especially when it's got weight on it, believe it or not. Pull back, big that boy. Almost uh, slows down, well, almost too fast. Well, I think I have to go do the real chores. Yep, you do. And I don't even want to go outside. It's too cold. <laughs> well, I hate cold. When you get back from real chores, if you want to continue, we can move on to April and plant. Oh, yeah, we might do that. All right. This is a very... I love where we live. I love that piece of land across the road to our left. I eventually, I just, for some reason, I want to buy it. You might buy that for a hayfield. Well, yeah. And then there's arable right on the other side of that hill, too. Ground we can till up. Or not till up. There's ground already tilled up. There is? Yeah. Right on the other side of that hill. So half, half of that is grass. And there's a bit of it that's uh, a field down there. Huh. I'm curious. I know we don't have the money, but how much do they want for it? Oh, they want $562,000, but it does come wow. with um, quite a fair little bit of land there. How much? One moment. It's uh, about 30 acres. It's 29 acres over across 20, the road. 29. 29 huh. acres. It's mostly sandy loam and loam for soil type. But yeah, it's got grass. It's got uh, some arable as well. All right. Sorry. I was pull looking that at thing that. Ahead. That's all right. Get the tractor started. And out of your... You want me to pull it just forward or out of, out of the barn? No, I just pull it ahead. Yeah. I just don't want this stuff to get rained on. No, that's true. 
So not a good, not a good thing. All right. I wish you take care of everything. Everything's inside. Yep, everything's inside. You're good. All right. Well, I tell you what. I think we're uh, ready and set for planting season. Let's go eat, and then we'll get out in the field. All right. Did I shut my truck off? No, but it's fine. I love burning no, dinosaur bones. <laughs>